In this video, I'm going to show you how to install SignLab and Visual Production Manager from CadLink. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my dongle into the computer, into the USB port. Then I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to go to CadLink and just make sure it's all there. So you probably won't have as many license files as I have. You probably will have either two or four of them. Um, then all we need to do is go to our DVD drive. That will open up the disk. So you need to just put obviously your disk into the computer. Once it's in there, you want to go down to your setup. So it's the setup that has the application next to it. This is one here. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go run as administrator. It's just loading up now. There we go. So the first thing it's going to ask you is to select your language for your installation, which I'm going to choose English. It'll then ask you to install your dongle. So it could be the orange dongle or it could be the blue and white dongle. I'm going to press next. It's then asking um, what bit rate is necessary. So we just leave it as it is. Press next. It'll then um, give me the option of installing my package. So you can see that it says sign lab print and cut. So it's actually um, interrogated the dongle and it's got the correct um, license files from there. And it knows which version of sign lab to install. So it's the same process if you're just installing sign lab vinyl pro or if you're doing the full um, printing cut package as well. So all we need to do is just say full install of whatever package you're installing. So next, I'm going to press next again. I'm then going to accept the terms of the license agreement and press next. Here it's saying um, where we'd like to install, uh, install the package to. So I'm going to leave that as it is and press next. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time there. There you go. And it'll then ask you where you're putting the, uh, the actual software. So that's all, all left as it is. So I'm going to press next on that one. It's now going to install. So it's configuring our, our software installation now. I'm going to leave this one in real time as well so you can just see how long it takes to actually install. We're installing at the moment on a Windows 7 computer but this is exactly the same process for a Windows 10 computer or a Windows XP. It's also the same process as well for the SignLab 9.1 package. Nothing has actually changed there. Um, really easy setup though and to be honest all we're doing is really pressing the, um, the next and OK buttons. and. The main thing I tell people is just not to um, not to change any of the settings really. So at the moment it's just installing everything and obviously with this package it's going to install two programs. It's going to do my sign lab and it's also going to do the visual production manager. Um, the visual production manager is our printer queue so that's where we send our jobs uh, to our printers or our plotters. Um, sign lab is obviously our designing software. So it will take a little bit of time to do this process.
it's now asking um, if I want to upgrade or install cutting devices. I don't actually install anything at this point. We can do cutting devices and things like that later. It's very easy to do. And I've got another video which shows you how to install cutting devices. So I'm just going to press next. And that will take me to the next step of the install. One thing it's worth making sure when you're installing this sort of software is to make sure there's nothing running in the background. Sometimes you'll find it's waiting for you to press OK on something like that and it's behind your dialog box that you're looking at. Now we're coming on to the next part, which is our font installation for SignLab. So what we're going to do now is going to press continue. You can skip this process. So if you're just looking to install VPM and you don't really use SignLab, you can skip this process and it will basically mean that your software will be installed straight away and that's it. Um, what it's doing now is it's searching for fonts on my computer. It's get, then going to install all of those fonts onto the computer. So I have an Illustrator installed on this computer. I also have Coral Draw installed on this computer. And it's going to take all of those font packages and it's going to combine them and put them onto SignLab for me. You will also have a SignLab font disk as well. Um, so you can actually say if you want to install additional fonts as it's asking me now. So I'm just going to go for my C drive and it will just find any other ones that are on my C drive. So if you have a folder on your computer which has a load of different fonts on, it will pick out that folder and then it will install all those, those fonts for you as well. This takes a little while, but it's well worth it because then your sign lab will have all the fonts that you, you need on there.
So I think I'm going to cancel this because it's only found seven fonts so far. So I've just pressed my escape key to cancel. And there you go. Now just install the fonts that it's already found. Go. It's starting to install them now. There we go. So as you saw, it just popped up the uh, my computer window and the actual finished screen is behind it. So all I'm doing is just making sure I keep clicking on there just to make sure there's no dialog box that wants anything doing to it. So I'm gonna press finished. That'll then finish up the installation. this stage you should then have your new sign lab printing cut and your folder should be in here as well just there so I've got sign lab printing cut and I've also got visual production manager as well so I've got the two programs if you were only print them um, installing vinyl pro or just sign lab you'll just have sign lab there so that's how to install um, sign lab and your visual production manager onto your computer and remember this works for uh, windows 10 windows 8 windows 7 and windows xp as well